Okay, this is a simple tutorial video on how to use MC Constructor by ZSculpt Entertainment. Let's start by creating a new model. You can use your finger to tap and place blocks. You can slide your finger side to side and it will rotate the view around. You can use two fingers together to pinch and zoom, which will uh, zoom your view in and out. And then also um, move it side to side. If you press your finger for a moment and then move it, you can draw long continuous um, shapes and such. There are multiple blocks to choose from up here in the corner. You can click on another one, draw some other colored blocks on the screen. If you tap with two fingers or use this button down here, you can do, um, you can undo. Uh, tapping with three fingers or using the button next to it will redo. And there are multiple levels. So let's just clear our view and, and start from scratch here and we'll take a look at some of the tools available to us. Um, let's start by just placing some blocks around in a little circle here in the center. Okay, um, the first tool that we have that we're using is our, our normal um, block placing or drawing tool. Uh, the next one over is a paintbrush. So if we select a different color, we can now click and change the blocks uh, that are already placed on the screen. You can also click and hold like we did with the other tool and just paint around like that. Let's just undo those changes. The next tool is the eraser tool, which is pretty obvious. Just click on it to remove blocks. Click and hold to erase. The next one is the, uh, the paint bucket fill tool. So this will work on, let's see, to show you an example of how this works, let's go back to our draw for a second and let's start with some light blue and place these in the middle here. And so now when we select our paint bucket tool, let's choose the darker blue, it will fill whatever color we clicked on. If I undo that and click on the outside, you can see it will only fill the colors that are immediately touching uh, the blocks that you clicked on. The, the next one over does the same thing, but it will also connect diagonals. So if I click on these white blocks, you can see the ones right next to it around the edge will also get filled in. If I go back and fix those um, red blocks here, actually let's use our paintbrush tool and clear those. Now you can see very clearly how these two different, um, let's get orange, how these two different um, paint buckets work. So the first paint bucket will only um, fill edges that are, that are connected but not diagonal. And if we undo that, now we can see the this paint bucket will do diagonals as well. The next tool available is um, the, the block replacer tool. So this one, if I have some other shapes on the screen here, let's get some more get some more shapes going here. Let's do a couple of these guys and let's see so if I choose let's get light green here so the block replacement tool will basically just as it says any any blocks on um, on that layer if you click on it, it will change all of them so it's like one step past how the the fill mode works it will do all the blocks um, the next one over will do all the blocks in the entire model. So if I show you, if we move up to layer two now, and let's just draw some more blocks on our little space here. So if I choose the green one and I do just the first replacement, it will only do it on that particular layer. 
The next tool is the full replacement of all blocks in the mo entire model of that color. Okay. Uh, the last tool is the measurement tool, which is very useful when you're trying to build a model um, that either you've constructed or someone else has made that you've downloaded through the model browser and you want to um, build it in Minecraft. So if you just tap, the ruler will automatically snap to the length of whatever the number of blocks are in that, like in that row or column. As so you can see, these are all four blocks long. This one over here is seven blocks long. You can also click and drag and it will it will automatically snap in that direction. So if you're trying to measure like lengthwise this way and release, then it will show that as being four blocks. If you're trying to measure this direction here, then you can drag it and release it. In that case, it's also four blocks. Okay, I'm going to show you how these next two tools, uh, the ruler and the positioning tool, actually work in game. It'll make a lot more sense for uh, people who want to, to build these large constructions. So let's go ahead and close our, um, our model here that we're working on and go back to the main screen and we'll open the model browser. Scroll down and let's open the redstone section and let's open this XP tower. So there's a, this is one of my favorite builds. There's a, um, a video that I made that sort of showcases this. Um, you can also find it uh, through the little uh, YouTube launcher app and MC constructor. So let's, um, using the buttons on the left hand side here, let's go down to the very bottom. We'll go all the way down to layer zero. And if we zoom into our view now, let's say that in Minecraft you wanted to build this. Um, so what you want to do is uh, pick a starting point on the model. We are going to start um, at the very bottom layer zero. We are going to start right in front of this collector chest. So we choose our positioning tool and we're going to click right in front. Um, now we need to actually know what our coordinates are. So we, at this point we need to jump over to Minecraft and get those coordinates. Okay, so here in the game you can see in the upper left hand corner I have this really cool mod installed called Baddies Coordinates Mod. And it basically will just show your X, Y, and Z position. It will show your heading, so facing north there, uh, west, south, east. You can achieve the same thing uh, by using the F3 key, although it's a lot harder to see and it's really distracting if you're playing the game. But here you can see um, where it says about midway down it says X, Y, and Z. It says negative 161, uh, slash 65, slash 1. And then a few more lines down it will show your position there also where it says like facing north, west, etc. This is this giant XP farm which I've already built on a different server that my buddy and I are playing on but I'm just going to use this as an example. Say I wanted to build this thing and so the only thing I have out here um, on the water is this little dock and I want to build this gigantic structure. So I stand at this position right here which is directly in front of that chest and I can see my coordinates are x negative 165 64 and negative 39 and I am going to build facing north so let's go drop those coordinates into the MC constructor app. So here we're going to put in our coordinates now so it has x is negative 165 y is 64 and the z is negative 39 and we're facing north so I'll just leave that like that and hit set okay so now as I continue to build this thing up layer by layer I'm going to use this positioning tool and stand on these different coordinates just to verify that I haven't made a mistake anywhere. Um, when you're working with just a few small blocks like this, it's not too bad, but as this continues to grow and you get up into the really complex stuff up here at the top, you're gonna wanna be checking these occasionally just to make sure that you're still, um, that you haven't like missed a block or a row or whatever. So you move your character around in Minecraft and stand on these corners, check your X, Y, Z, Just as an example, I will jump back into the game here and check like the very top blocks to make sure that the last blocks that I'm placing are actually where I want them to be. So this is the very top layer. If I stand on the corner of this tower over here, I get an X coordinate of negative 175, Y is 110, and Z is negative 30. 
So let's go check that in Minecraft and make sure that we're in the right spot. Okay, so we're just going to fly up to the top here. And you can see this tower here on the corner. And now I can check my coordinates here. So X is negative 175, Y is 110, and Z is minus 30. So everything checks out. Okay, so let's take a look at the next tool palette. The first thing that we have is the info button, which shows you how many blocks are needed to build this entire model. It breaks everything down into stacks and then any remaining. Uh, very useful for planning really large builds. You can see all the string, ladder, tripwire hooks, redstone, everything needed to build this, and then it will sort it based on uh, the largest quantities up at the top here. Okay, so the next thing that we have on this palette is an erase layer. We can undo that. Um, if I move down to this layer and hit erase, you can see that the other two layers are unaffected. Hit undo. Uh, the next button after that is an erase model. Obviously it does the entire thing. Hit undo on that. Um, this one following it is a copy layer button. So let's say if I go down to the bottom layer here and hit copy, and then let's go up and we'll go one more past uh, layer three to layer four and hit the button after that, which is paste. Um, then we also have a copy model and paste model. So if I hit copy, say I have this little construction here and I want to bring this into a new file, um, we can discard those changes, go over here, hit new, and go down to paste model, and there it is. Um, and the last one is a really fun one called extrude. Um, this one will basically copy your selection of layers and then duplicate it um, a certain number of times. So if I hit the extrude button here, we can say start at layer one, end at layer one, and we can give it a count. So if I hit this count up to, let's see, we'll just do 13 and hit OK. Um, boom, it just copies layer one all the way on up. If we undo that, and let's do it again, except this time we will say we will start at layer one and end at layer three and we'll do a count of five. And now you can see it took those three layers, duplicated it five times uh, on up. So very useful for building uh, towers and things like that. Okay, the last two things that we're gonna talk about here are brush mirrors and the camera controls. So the brush mirrors is this little tab over here at the side, and this will basically um, mirror whatever effect that you are using or drawing on one side um, over to the other side of that of that drawing plane. So with this vertical one, as you can see, as I place blocks, they will be mirrored to the other side. If I hit undo on that and then open up the mirrors palette again, now you can see I get a vertical and horizontal, which makes for some cool effects. You can turn them all on and just go crazy with it. Great for pixel art stuff. So that's brush mirrors. And the last thing that we'll talk about is the um, the camera controls. Let's turn all these guys back off. So the standard camera is just a it's just a 3D um, perspective view. You can switch to the second one, which is an isometric and that will basically remove perspective. Um, it just adds kind of a, a different neat look. It's a little bit hard to work with sometimes, but um, for some models it looks really neat. And the last one um, is the 2D view. So it's important to note that um, when drawing things in the 2D view, they're, they're, it's a little bit um, different in the way it behaves. Um, the first thing is that, you, that as you go up from one layer to the next, the, the previous layers underneath will be um, sort of faded out or like more transparent so that you can kind of see what you're doing. So as an example here, let's start down on layer one and we'll start with some red blocks and just uh, draw these around the outside of our image. Make a little circle like this. And now as I move up to layer two, you can see those red blocks are now kind of transparent around the outside. And so from this point we'll do Let's make, uh, let's just add some green ones here. I'm not going to go all the way around it. You get the idea. Um, I'll move up to the next layer now, and you can see the red ones have vanished completely, and now the, the green blocks on layer two are, are slightly transparent. And so lastly, we'll just add some blue ones here just to show what this looks like. 
we now switch back to our 3D view, you can see those different layers moving, moving outward. And the last thing on the camera control is just a simple um, centering tool. If you get really close inside your model and can't really see what you're doing, you can click center and it will basically bring the image back into view. If you're really far off screen, you can do the same thing. So it's just a, just an easy way to kind of get your bearings and get focused back on your model. So that's uh, pretty much it. If you have any uh, questions or suggestions, you can always email me um, through the little email button in the MC Constructor. It goes to support at zsculpt.com. Um, thanks and have fun.